June 28th, 2023. It is 1.30 p.m. We have 30 minutes until the Taylor Swift Eras Tours tickets go on sale. I am feeling kind of calm. <laughs> Am I lying? I can't tell if I'm calm or stressed. Today is the Frontier Touring pre-sale. I am trying to get three tickets today. Ideally, I would like to get a reserve tickets for the first show in Melbourne. But honestly, I will just take what I can get. I feel like with this, you don't get to choose because it is the Hunger Games out here. It is the Great War. If you can get a ticket, take the ticket. But we are manifesting a reserve tickets, three of them. Frontier Touring sent me a link and a code to use. So I'm gonna click on the link now. Yes, we are up against potentially 30 minutes million people but I have faith I have faith in us we're gonna get the tickets we've already got them they're ours <laughs> all right guys let's do it and now we wait it's all right and if I don't get tickets that is also okay because if there's one thing I know is that if you want to go to a concert if you're meant to be at a concert even if you don't have the tickets like you didn't get them during the sale or it's a week until the concert and you don't have the tickets you're going don't stress about it you're going you will be there you will get a ticket if you're meant to be there I truly believe that I truly believe it so therefore if I'm meant to be at this concert I'll be there no need to stress I'm a little bit stressed oh my god one minute one minute until tickets go on sale <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, is my code copied? I've copied my code a hundred times. Command C, Command C, Command C, Command C, Command C. Woo! Let's go! Let's get it, let's get it! <laughs> I'm scared. No, I'm not scared. It's fine. Everything's good. It's chill. It's so not chill. <gasps> it's 2 p.m. Oh my god, the tickets are on sale. The tickets are on sale. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Okay, it's been one minute. Wait, what? Am I kicked out? Okay, I think it's working. I think it's working. Oh my, my heart is beating so fast. No! What? Is it frozen? What the f***? I'm in. Okay, I'm trying to unlock tickets now, but it's so slow. Like, it's running so slow. And I get it. Like, everyone's trying to do this right now, but I have three minutes. Three minutes. And it's frozen. Dude. Damn. I'm in, but everything is just single seat only. And I have three minutes. I don't know what to do. If you can get a ticket, take the ticket. Damn. Okay. It's okay, though, because today was only the pre-sale. So, we can just try again on Friday. Damn, that was brutal. It's 4 p.m. That took two hours. Two hours and we were unsuccessful. But it's okay. We'll still get to the concert. If there's one thing I know, we'll be there. It is now 3.35. Eras tour tickets go on sale at 4 p.m. I think they recommend you to get on the website at quarter to four. Last time they went on sale, I went on the website so early, dramatically early, and I feel like it just didn't really make a difference. You know what I mean? So we have 15 minutes. I have all of my information written down. I feel like today's the day. Today is the day we get Eras tour tickets and if not we're still going to the concert you know what i mean like oh my god guys 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 did you see that harry styles got a buzz cut as if we're not going through enough trauma today i'm trying to get errors to a tickets harry florals just confirms that he has a buzz cut today it's not buzz cut season anyways guys kel is gonna help us he just opened his ticket tape windows and he was transferring money into his account to make sure he had enough in there and what was the number that came up like the amount that came up when you transferred 1989 there you have it Confirmed by Kel himself that we will be going to the era store. That's on period bitch. I'm still scared. Okay, I have my Chrome screen open. Literally 3.59 p.m. <laughs> I need to get my phone one open. I'm literally shaking. Okay, I have my phone going. Safari and Chrome. And now we wait. Drama. Update. It's been eight minutes and we're still chilling. We're still chilling in the lounge. 
The Sydney ones went on sale at 10 a.m. and they sold out in an hour. I saw one girl on TikTok who waited 10 minutes and then she got let in and she got a reserve floor tickets. So I'm like, also my friend, Alva, who is in Bendigo, she said she just got to Ticketek and there's a line, but it's not like too bad. So stay tuned, besties. What's gonna happen? My hope is like constantly up and down. I'm like, but regardless, we're gonna be at this concert, so it's fine. Period. Guys, we did not survive the Great War. Um, the f It is Wednesday, January 10th. I just opened my emails. I have an email from a brand, and it says, I messaged you on Instagram regarding our offer of being our guest for a VIP experience for the Taylor Swift Eras tour for opening night. What? Obviously, it's gone to my like message request. They were like, we're just sending you an email in case it's gone to spam. Is this real? I feel like I'm going to vomit and throw up and that's the same thing. I need to get my Instagram. This is their message. Hi Beth, in keeping with your Delulu of getting last minute concert tickets, we'd love to offer you a VIP experience as our guest at the Taylor Swift Eras Tour on opening night in Melbourne. If you're interested, please let us know what the actual f What the f that's manifesting if I've ever heard it. I always believe in myself. I knew I was going to this concert. I've already ordered my outfits, but like, um, stay tuned. <laughs> Guys, I can't believe I'm saying this right now, but I am going to the Eras Tour tonight. Like, how is that a real statement that's coming out of my mouth? I'm kind of in denial. One, because of how I got the tickets, which we'll talk about in a second, but two, because I got back from our Hong Kong and Taiwan trip two days ago. So I feel like I'm still in that delusionally kind of jet lag state where I'm like, oh my God, this milk is really... Oh, hello. I was about to say run out, but apparently just stuck in the corner. But I'm in some sort of delusionally jet lag state where I'm like, how am I a real person? Where am I? Who am I? But guys, we are going to the Eras Tour tonight. It is 25 past 11. I'm currently making myself a matcha. My plan of attack is that I'm going to drink this. Keep looking on Marketplace for tickets because I'm still trying to get tickets for my friends for either tomorrow or the next night because tonight is night one in Melbourne. And then... When we're gonna get ready together for this concert that I can't believe is today. Like, it's actually insane. Guys, I can't believe these words are about to come out of my mouth. I can't believe them as much as you're probably not going to be able to believe them. But the reason I am going to the Eras Tour tonight is because a brand gifted me a ticket. Like, what the actual f I can't believe this is happening. I'm still in denial. We need to leave here in about four hours and I'm still in denial that I'm going. Like, what is my life? I feel so grateful and so blessed. So the brand is called HNY Sleepwear. They're an Australian sleepwear company. They're based in South Australia. And they reached out to me and were like, would you like to be an ambassador and come to the opening night Taylor Swift Eras Tour concert in Melbourne with us? And I was like, absolutely, absolutely. Oh my gosh, I'm still literally in denial. But they sent me this box with a little something to wear while I'm getting ready and the Taylor Swift VIP box. I opened this box last night and then I was like, wait, we should open it together because you are the reason that I'm going tonight. Also, I'm just gonna keep smiling so that I don't cry because I'm a very emotional person and I've already cried over this whole situation enough because this is a literal dream come true for me, not only to be going to the Eras Tour with a brand or going to the Eras Tour in general, but you guys know that I love live music so much. Going to concerts is my favorite hobby. It's like the love of my life. I love live music and the fact that I'm going with a brand to a concert. I have so many words and none at the same time, but let's open this. I'm so excited. Ooh. Wait, stop. This is so cute. Guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is a little two piece set. We have this white top and these white shorts. Wait, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to wear this to get ready, but also to wear this in general. I feel like I would wear this as an outfit, as an actual outfit, literally down the street. Oh my God. Ah! And then we have the Taylor Swift box. They also put in some packets of candy hearts, which is so cute. I have not eaten these in so long. Oh my gosh. Guys, how is this real life right now? Oh my God, I can't cry. I can't cry. I got my lashes done yesterday. I actually can't cry. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. You know when you have something and it's so pretty, you don't want to open it. That's literally me right now, but I also want to open it so badly. Guys, this is insane. So I think these are the prints. Oh my gosh, cute. So there's four prints. 
inside. And then we have the tote bag. I'm honestly most excited about this because I am such a tote bag girly. Like this is honestly the kind of piece of merch that I would buy. So I'm so excited to have this. Maybe I'll wear this tonight, I guess. Like it's fitting. What is my life? Like literally what is my life? I'm not sure what this is. Okay, I think this is the ticket. Not the actual ticket, but like a collector ticket. Oh, it's so pretty. Guys, it's one of those ones where you move it and the picture moves as well. I'm so excited to wear this. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna wear this every day of my life. What is this? Oh, this is a pin, cute. What is this? Whoa, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look at this, guys. It's like a collector's ticket. This is so cool. One thing I miss about concerts in the past is that you always used to have a paper ticket and now all of the tickets are digital. So this is such a good idea for something for people to collect. It even has VIP written on the back. Wow, this is a little bit too much for me right now. It's actually starting to feel real, like I am seeing Taylor Swift tonight. And then there are a bunch of postcards as well. Wow, this was so cool. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I waited and we opened this together. I'm not gonna lie, it was very hard because as soon as I opened that box and I saw the Taylor Swift box, I was like, I really wanna open this. But I'm glad we did it together because this is all thanks to you guys. I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. But I am gonna go and have a shower because it is 25 past 12 and I need to leave here probably 4.30. I live in the city, but the concert is a little bit out of the city. I think leaving at 4.30 is fine. The show starts at 6.20. I'm so excited to see Sabrina Carpenter. Like I just, we're gonna talk about this more, but I'm gonna go have a shower, get some stuff ready, and then we will get ready together for the Eras tour. What is life? Okay guys, I've finished doing my hair. It literally took me 25 minutes to get a ponytail flicked back with my extensions. Oh my gosh, I was having so much trouble. Also, this is the set that the brand sent me. It is so comfy. But before I do my makeup, I'm going to get Kel to help me cut my outfit. Let me show you guys my outfit. So I am dressing up in the Reputation era. I'm so excited. I literally ordered this before I had a ticket. I actually ordered three different outfits for three different eras because I I delusionally still think I'm going to go to the other two nights in Melbourne, but I'm going to wear this one tonight. It is a crop top or like a corset crop top and then this skirt, but this skirt is really long and I want it to be short. So I'm going to get Cal to help me cut it and hopefully it will be fine, right? Like what could go wrong? I have this other skirt and my theory is well, Cal's theory was we can just match it up to this and cut it and it will be fine. So the plan is to cut it longer than this, like an inch or so. And that way, if we mess it up or it's too long, we can cut shorter, but you can't obviously make it longer. How do you feel about this? We can always tape it back on. <laughs> no way. But what if we cut it to there and it rolls to here? Is that okay? Or do you want me to cut it to like here? Maybe there. There's no turning back now. It looks pretty good. Hopefully it fits good as well. <laughs> Let's try it on. Pretty good, but there's an underskirt that is a bit longer than this bit on the top. So Cal is marking it out around me now while I'm wearing it and then we're gonna cut that bit. But otherwise I feel like it went pretty well. Okay guys, the skirt is done. It fits, I'm so happy. I'll show you when I get dressed. I have just poured a Moondog Fizzer into this wine glass. Is this even a wine glass? I don't know, but I poured it in here to feel fancy. Now it is time to do my makeup. I am gonna make, or I I guess film a TikTok get ready with me. I keep spilling this by the way, <laughs> but I'm gonna film a TikTok real short form get ready with me. So if you wanna see that, you know where to go. And I'm gonna prop you up over here so you can get a little BTS. Guys, we are going to the Eras tour tonight. I'm still in denial about this, but let's get ready together. Okay, the lighting in here is kind of shocking right now, but I've mostly finished my makeup. Just need to put a little bit of bottom mascara on and some red lipstick. I put this on and then I found a TikTok transition that I wanted to do, so I had to wipe it off. So let's put this back on. I am kind of scared that I'm gonna smudge this like all over my face throughout the night, but it's fine. It's currently 20 to four. I think I'm still gonna try and leave at 4.30. I just love to have, ooh, <laughs> 
<laughs> the light was really shining up from the mirror but I just like to have time to like take a second before I go I get so overwhelmed and I don't know why but today I just like kept putting off getting ready which is crazy because I'm like so excited for this event but it's time to get dressed time to put the outfit on I really hope it looks good this top is a little bit small so I am going to be serving a lot of boob up the top but it's fine right it's fine I need to go cut this tag off okay give me one second I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll show you the outfit guys oh my god this is my first time trying on my full outfit I am so obsessed I would actually wear this as a normal outfit which is kind of why I went with reputation and the other areas that I got the outfits for I knew I'd wear them for other stuff because I hate using things just for one thing but oh my god look at this guys oh my god I love it so much and the skirt came out so well it does kind of ride up a bit so I might pull it down and I did eat literally anything that I wanted on my vacation so my stomach is kind of stomaching I'm not feeling the most confident in it but I have this leather jacket I also have these black boots and these sunglasses like shut the actual f up I'm so obsessed with this oh my god I'm so happy oh my gosh and guys I have friendship bracelets I need to cut the excess wire off of these but Cal Coco and I made friendship bracelets in Taiwan during the new year oh my god I'm gonna cry thinking about it but I'm so excited I'm just gonna wear all of these we made 12 which I feel like is a good enough amount let me show you some of my faves this one says errors tour I made three of these because I am determined for me and my two other friends to go so I made three so we have one each this one says I am the problem oh and this one says rep error which is very fitting for tonight I kind of don't want to give that one away oh where's my other one that I love oh yeah this one this one says the patriarchy ah I'm so excited okay I'm gonna go cut the ends off of these because as you can see they're really long I'm going to finish making my transition TikTok and then we will go oh my gosh I can't believe this is happening right now like what the f we are going to the Eras tour tonight. We will see Taylor Swift in concert tonight. We're gonna hear Don't Blame Me live. <coughs> okay, okay, give me one sec and then let's go. Okay, thank you so much, have a nice night. Okay guys, I just got out of the Uber. They dropped me off. Not exactly where I thought I was gonna be dropped off. I know I'm like, okay, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going, but I know where... Oh, good afternoon, sir. I know where the person who I'm meeting is, so I'm just gonna try and walk to where they are. I actually don't think it will take super long now that I'm seeing kind of where I am. Like, I was here a few weeks ago for the Australian Open, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I was listening to Sabrina Carpenter in the Uber. No, I'm so ready. Like, I'm so... I'm so ready, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for us. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you.
guys, we're at the Aero Store. It's here. It's happening. It's real. I pinch myself every single time I get to see the show. Um, hi, Taylor Swift. I love you so much. Thank you for having us here. I feel so lucky. I flew a long time to sing some songs for you. So I'm not sure if you guys are down to hear more, but you don't really have a choice. So I am going to sing some more songs.
remember all of this and I, I got to look at one Friday night in Melbourne. <laughs>
to feel like um, like we made the show for you, whether uh, whether you're new here or you, you've been hanging out with me for like 15 years. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like a trip down uh, down memory lane for me because uh, you see, I put out a lot of um, albums recently, to put it. Uh, I remember people would kind of ask me like, "What? How are you planning on touring uh, with this sort of like um, overload of albums?" Because you know how I used to do things is I'd go, I'd make the red album, I'd do the red tour, I'd uh, do the 1989 tour when I had the 1989 album. You see the uh, the issue that you run into when you put out like five albums in a couple of years is um, uh, you kind of have to think outside the box. And so I came up with this idea called. The Eras Tour. And the albums that uh, that I haven't gotten to play for you, uh, that have come out since I saw you last, are called Lover, Folklore, the album we are currently we're currently in Evermore. And last but not least, Midnight. And uh, very recently, um, I was very, very excited to tell you some news. You know how nice it is that you just screamed for that because you know what I'm about to say. And album, The Torture of Poets Department. You have no idea. So the fact that you preemptively cheered, you did, I didn't even have to say it. Like, you just knew. We're just on, we're on that level tonight. I, can, I knew there was something about you the second I saw you. I'm not trying to love bomb the crowd, but... Um, <laughs> but The Torture Poets Department will be out April 19th. I, We might talk a little bit about that a little bit later. <laughs> Since you're so supportive of the idea. <laughs> but, you know, we are in Evermore right now. And, um, I really want to hear 96,000 people uh, sing Champagne Problems. <laughs>
Okay guys, I have left the stadium and now I am walking through this park to meet up with Cal. He's gonna meet me halfway for this walk home because there's just no chance I was gonna get an Uber. The midnight's walk. <laughs> I have Cal on speakerphone because it's kind of a little bit scary walking through this park, but it's fine. Also, the boots have come off. Midnight. Midnight. The boots are off. This is the vibes. I can hear the bats and the cricket. Just post errors tour. Things. Good morning guys. Actually, it is not the morning anymore. It is literally 5 to 2. Also, don't ask about this. Something about me is that I will always spill things on myself. Like, I literally got this sweatshirt 14 hours ago and I've already spilled toothpaste on it. I spilled egg on it. I am the messiest person. But I have been trying since 8 a.m. to get tickets for tonight's show and I am not having any luck. But I'm still getting ready 
because my friend Anna and I have decided we're just gonna go to the stadium and hang out out front of the stadium and listen to the show. There were so many people doing that last night and I feel like it will be such a fun experience. So that is our plan. I'm still hoping that somehow maybe we will get tickets, but at the same time, I'm still just so grateful to have gone last night. Last night was absolutely insane. I feel like I'm speechless. I just can't believe I saw Taylor Swift with my own eyes up that close. I am so grateful for HNY Sleepwear for taking me to the Eras Tour. Like, I'm still very much in denial that that happened to me. I also feel like I didn't get a lot of clips of myself or even the photos that I had on my vision board because the whole time I was there, I was just, I was there, but mentally I was like, Am I here? It's fine. It doesn't matter. But I'm very excited to dress up today. I think I told you yesterday, I bought three outfits for the Eras tour. And the Eras I bought were, actually, should I tell you? Maybe I should leave tomorrow's as a surprise. But today I'm dressing up in the Lover era. Some of my accessories didn't arrive, but it's fine because it's not like I got a ticket. <laughs> but I'm just getting ready now. I think I'll leave for the stadium. Maybe around 5. 30 or 6. I'm not sure if we're gonna listen to Sabrina as well. Also, I know that Anna has plans today, so it's just gonna depend when she's ready. But I'm excited. I think it's gonna be fun. It's just a Taylor Swift filled weekend and I'm living for it. But we're still manifesting tickets. I have the Ticketek Marketplace Lounge up. I have Tixel up. But we try our best and we manifest. And regardless, we will have fun out front of the stadium anyway. Just all sing and dance together and wish we were inside. <laughs> Okay guys, ignore the mess in the background, but I just finished getting ready. This dress is so cute. It even has a bow on the back. I feel like if I end up getting tickets for tomorrow night, I'm just gonna wear this outfit again because I feel like it deserves to be worn in the stadium. But I also have these love heart glasses and these white boots. Oh my God, my room is literally trash. Like I need to get this sorted. But Anna is on her way here now and then we're gonna go to the stadium. She's bringing a picnic blanket and some snacks. So we're just gonna chill. Oh, I'm also wearing my friendship bracelets. I'm hoping I can can trade some more with some other people but this is the fit I think I'm gonna pack some comfy clothes as well because I can see myself definitely wanting to get changed I mean I already want to get changed but I want this outfit to have its moment you know but I'm gonna pack a bag and then let's go listen to Taylor Swift which I feel like it's still gonna be so much fun Guys, we are sitting out front of the MCG listening to Taylor and now we're trying to figure out or like guess what the surprise songs are gonna be. If it's You're On Your Own Kid, I will run straight through that barricade <laughs> into the show. I don't care if I get arrested. If Rep TV gets announced, I'm in there. I'm in jail as well, but I will also be in there. <laughs> what do you think, Grace? I reckon it's gonna be right where you left me and I will get like a net <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three on the back. <laughs> Do you have a song, Anna? You hope it's a surprise like, you song? You got me like thinking for like New Year's Day. Oh, Ooh, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah bring it on. Boat. Oh my god. <laughs> You both have to get the tattoo. <laughs> She's about to start the surprise songs, but we can't hear what they are, but the crowd just went crazy. Anna's sister is inside, so she's trying to message her to be like, what is going on? <laughs> is it getaway car? <laughs> I think it's getaway car. Getaway car. Are you serious? Is it really? Oh my god, I'm so sad. This is one of my like top top. This is a really good song. <laughs> At least we get to hear it. At least we get to hear it out here. Ah, <laughs> I don't know if, it if she does your on your own kid, I'm literally gonna cry. She won't. She won't. She won't do it. No. Getaway car was brutal. That's one of my absolute faves. Taylor, you are so mean. Oh my god, Anna's sister's calling her. This is me trying. This is me trying. 
Guys, it is Sunday, February 18th, and I have crazy news for you. Anna and I have gotten tickets to the Eras tour tonight. Oh my gosh. Well, like, I hope we have, because I am a little bit nervous that they're not going to work. They should work, but when you buy tickets second hand it's always a little bit like will they work our seats aren't together unfortunately but we're gonna try and swap with someone because one of our seats is partially obstructed like the view is partially obstructed and the other one isn't so we're hoping if there's someone by themselves in the partially obstructed section we can swap their ticket for our one that's not obstructed so they get a better view and we can just be together because we're like we don't care if our view is partially obstructed we just want to be together so hopefully that works out if not it's fine but I'm so excited I'm wearing my same outfit that I wore last night don't mind the camera shadow. I just put some little gems on these glasses and Cal and I made some more friendship bracelets today. Oh my god, last night at the stadium, the cutest kids swapped friendship bracelets with me. It was so wholesome, but it is, I think, nearly 10 past 5 and I need to leave in 5 minutes. Anna's boyfriend is driving us to the stadium, which is so nice, but I'm so excited. Fingers crossed our tickets work and we get in. Also, I'm still mourning the loss of getaway car. Like, I literally can't. I won't be talking about it because when I got home last night, I cried so much. <laughs> Which is so silly, but the girlies who get it, get it. Anyway, let's go, hopefully, to the Eras tour. <laughs> Guys, look how many bracelets these girls have. Show them yours. So many. Did you make them all yourself? Yeah, we spent oh. like a week on them. Oh my gosh, can I take this one? Yeah, you can have that one. So cute. Thank you. Okay, yeah, yeah. Love that one. You like it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay guys, time to see if we get in. No. <laughs> we will, we will, it's gonna be fine. We just traded bracelets with the cutest kids. Oh my gosh, that was so sweet. And they gave Anna bracelets, so sweet. Time to see if Anna gets in. I'm so nervous. Okay, my turn, I'm kinda nervous. There you go. Thank you so much.
the last night in Melbourne means we are going to give you absolutely everything that we have and more tonight. Is that okay? 96,000 people the first night, 96,000 people the second night, 96,000 people uh, tonight. All of that is, is th those are all the biggest shows I've ever played on a tour, and you did it three times. The math is that it's 288,000 people in three nights. Melbourne, you are the love of my life. I cannot believe you. I love you all. design that is intricate, exquisite, well planned out, um, and fully committed. I've seen commitment in the costume design department of this crowd, probably like unparalleled to anything I have ever seen before in my life. You had a speech, your speechless, love slept beyond your reaches, and I couldn't give a reason, champagne
calls me up and he's like, I still love you. And I'm just like, oh, and this is exhausting. And they're like, they're never getting back together.
it's always going to have such a such a special place in my heart. This album because um, it was it was an album I started two, like two days into the pandemic. It was like I immediately knew I was going to need like an escape in my imagination. Um, and you know, I think that led to me sort of changing things up a little bit. And I want to say like. Changing things up has been what has uh, kept things so exciting and fun and spicy.
forward and like I don't want to limit anything and I don't want to just say like oh if I played a song before I can't play it again so from now on I'm just gonna like I don't want to take any paint colors out of the out of the paint box of colors I don't want to take any tools out of the toolbox what's the metaphor I'm looking for I want to be able to play songs more than once if I feel like it and I want to be able to make changes to songs and
What if I told you none of it was accidental in the first night that you saw me? I knew I wanted your body. I made the groundwork in bed, just like clockwork. The dominoes cascaded in a line. What if I told you on the map? Thank you.